What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gunner here and today I'm going to be reviewing the High Grade Gay Rail from the second season of Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Now, from the lore, or from the, what it says in the instruction manual anyway, this is the first grace to be ever deployed. This is the, actually the first ever grace. And it actually looks pretty cool because it doesn't it doesn't repeat itself. Although there are different models of it, I know, but the designs don't, do not repeat itself. So, this guy is actually pretty unique. Although, yeah, in reality, it is another Grace. So, for stickers, you have kind of a lot of stickers. You have the two yellow spots beside on the side of the head. And then you have the, if I can open it up, the red sensor inside. And then the two grey ones over here. The yellow, sort of obsolete one on the back of the Ahab reactor. And uh, that's not it. That, oh yeah, and then the feet. And that's all the stickers. And I kind of like this army green. Because it just really pops from the normal grazes because it has a little bit of blue. So the color scheme is a is a natural like standout point. And I really do not like this thing. Not because of its design, because it just takes up too much space toward the back. Well anyways, I kinda like it. It's kinda like a miniature base jabber, if you ask me. So, that's all the details for the gay rail. For the articulation, it's probably similar to the graces. So the head is on a double ball joint, if I do not pop out the armor here. It's on a double ball joint, so you can go forward and back, rotate. And the, and the arms are in the typical grace ball joints, but because of the thicker armor, the potty cap cannot move anywhere. Yeah, nevertheless, they can still rotate. The arms can come out because the armor is clicked in. These, the arms can rotate out, rotate at the, rotate above the elbow, bend at the elbow at one joint. The wrist will rotate, wiggle, and then the guard can rotate on its own. Or if you want to rotate with the hand, that's fine. And it still has the typical torso joint and then the rather loose waist joint because... You have this extra piece here on the waist, so when the po when the poly cap feeds through, the entire waist is trying to kind of elevate it. So there's no like full solid connection to this thing unless if you super glue the joint. To the evident notes, there are no front skirts, no side skirts, and if you remove the back unit, no back skirts. So the legs are actually absolutely free. Not quite because, yeah, because of the design. But they're absolutely free. So if you remove this bath thing, this bath pack or hover pack, you can actually do whatever you want with the legs. Now, okay, they can rotate at the hip pretty weirdly there. A double jointed knee. Pretty nice armor separation. And then the feet can go forwards and back. Side to side with the like joint over here, the armor piece can kind of rotate, and then the feet can rotate. So articulation on this guy is, yeah, typically the gray's, the gray's articulation, but it is not as bad. For the accessories, you've already seen the hover pack, and you've already seen the sensor. So, the only two accessories that it provides in this kit, first of all, is the rifle. Yeah, all mobile suits have to have rifles, whether beam or not. This kind of looks like a like small s sniper rifle, because look at the barrel design. Doesn't it feel like a sniper rifle? It feels to me. But anyways, you can basically drop the handle into the hand but but then it doesn't hold that pretty well see with a few shakes it just comes off so probably people would want to like 
reinforce the drawing with gloss or something or or just like gloss nail paint nail nail coloring I don't know but yeah you just need, really need to reinforce the rifle if you're gonna play it like kind of whoosh it around and then finally the the shield axe so this is its shield mode so you can plug it into the guards with the bottom rectangular hole so you can just handle out so that it can grab it there we go so now it kinda has a kinda has a, like a gauntlet or shield but then it has an axe mode so you take off the two blades and then rotate 90 degrees inward so the stupid looking hollow detail is facing the outside and just slide it back in well anyway this is the best I can do so it doesn't feel like it can chop off somebody's head because it just like has this like kind of very very thick blade so it kind of feels like a hammer more than anything. Although it just shapes like an axe. So, ah, uh, you can see. Well, since he's dropped this rifle, which is very helpful for me. So you need to take out the hand cover. Because you cannot wedge it in because of this bit down here. And you can just... Uh, it's not scripted, I swear. But anyways... You can just close it up and then make it use like like a hatchet. And you have hard points on the shoulders. So look at this, you have holes over here. Somebody said you can put a smooth bore gun in there, and I absolutely would agree. So if you really want that to be carrying two smooth bore guns, you can actually do it. But today I'm gonna be using the 200 mm caliber guns from the Gun of Barbatus Lupus. So, you can actually put those in. And let it use it. Hand free. That suddenly reminds me of the Gun of Floros. But anyways, you have the option to do so. And it is the same with the rocket launchers in the MS option set 6. So that's a pretty neat option. So you can display it with weapons mounted on its shoulders. So that's all the accessories for the gay rail. Unfortunately, it's, it is at night when I'm recording this. So I cannot open up my shelf and get a few graces out to compare. So I will just have to do the comparison that I did with the sheet end. So here's the sheet end. Which is probably gonna fight him in the next episode. When when he or or I don't know When Hush is pil piloting it with the Gundam Barbatos Dupus. So probably these three are gonna fight along with the man road along along with the land man roadies. So that's gonna be the review of the high grade gay rail. Or uh, or some alternate pronunciation that I'm that I'm missing out on. Tell me in the comments below what would you how would you pronounce this guy's name and what do you think of it compared to the all the other grazes? It's also the Schwab compared to that. But anyways, that's going to be the review of the Highway Gay Rail. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more gaming videos, model reviews, and all that kind of stuff. Excuse my jumpiness because I'm trying to resist a cough. Anyways, subscribe to Ultra Prime, Acer Videos, and Focus in Gaming, or as now called Pure Sentage, if you have it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.